unfortunately, distractions come in all forms. It could be something that happened uh, off the court or off the field. It can be, as, as, as we talked about, it can be an agent's influence on a player and, and not understanding that could be a distraction to a player. It could be the, uh, the player themselves having a different perception through lack of communication from a coach as maybe what their role is. So distractions are an important thing for a coach and coaching staff to filter out. And I think communication is the best way to filter out distractions. Communication gets players focused on that day-to-day, -day, that, that, that one play at a time mentality. And also with the understanding of playing free. A distraction could be a play you missed or, or, or a pitch you missed or a, or a swing that, 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 that you didn't connect on a baseball. I think that the elite player has an understanding of, of being able to turn the page on, on one small um, non-execution of, of, of part of their fundamental and be able to play free and get to the next one and not carry the burden of one bad play becoming another. I think an elite performer has a couple things uh, going for them that maybe the guy that's just the, the run-of-the-mill decent player has. One is they're able to prepare and sometimes that's just a mental preparation of clearing your mind, understanding the, some of the strategies you want to put into play and then executing them and it sounds like a simple thing. I think the guys that are really in that elite class first have that talent and second, have that ability to bring that mental focus point to point. And it's important in baseball, pitch to pitch. I know it's important in every sport. If I could say one thing to high school coaches out there is to understand the development of a person, not a baseball player. I think that we have to understand that baseball is one tool that we have to get guys to, to have fun, to understand the team spirit, to understand teamwork, to understand preparation, understand hard work, and the reward that'll come from that. Uh, baseball is not the only thing in the world. I think as a high school coach, we need to embrace that and understand and, and celebrate the little achievements that every player makes, whether they're a player that is just uh, finding a way to put the ball in play and make contact with two strikes, to the player that's worked on a pivot, a double play pivot, and, and finally gets it. Those achievements have to be celebrated for that, uh, that, that self-esteem of the player. I think youth baseball and youth baseball coaches have to understand that baseball is just a tool. It's a tool in life. It gives you preparation for a lot of things that are going to happen throughout life. Uh, it's fun. It should be really fun. It should be rewarding when you achieve. But you have to also understand that this isn't your whole life. Uh, you need to apply yourself and you need to practice and you need to go after it and try to win. But the bigger picture is, is life and I think baseball is one small piece of that pie.